Hi everyone, I'm Mary Ann Mears, the Guzman of Mary Dastek. This is the simple calculator that I've created using the assembly language. So this is how my program works. I have the available mathematical operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. These are the sample equations. So let's try 10 plus 800 is equal to 810. 10 minus 800 is equal to negative 790. 10 times 800 that should be equal to 8,000. And then 10 divided by 800, we have 0 0.0125. Now, what if we input 1, 2, 3, 4 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5? So we have the output of overflow. Now I will show you how I created the simple calculator. First, I determined the size of the code and data pointers to both near and initial is 100 byte stack segment. This is the data section where I showed the available mathematical operations, the sample equations, and also the invalid message for the multiplication operation. And also I initialized carry for the remainder, operate for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction, and then the operand, divisor, point, and uninitialize the operand 1 and operand 2. This is my code section where I defined my program's entry point to main and assign the data to data segment, assign the data address from the beginning of the memory segment where the math operations and pattern is stored to data register, Assign the math operations and input of the characters of offset is defined by the data register to high accumulator. And then call the interrupt handler, which is int 21h. This is the set to empty, where I assigned the address from the beginning of memory segment where the new line is stored to data register. Assign the new line of characters of offset is specified by data register to high accumulator. And then call the interrupt handler. I also set zero for the accumulator base counter data registers, also for operand, operate, carry, and point, and call the input instruction for putting the numbers and operator. Here's the again instruction where I compare if the data in the carry is zero. If it is not equal to zero, then jump to floating points instruction where I will show you later, and then else jump to set to empty instruction. Then this is the invalid input. I assign address from the beginning of the memory segment where the invalid message is stored to data register that is overflow and assign the invalid message of character whose offset is specified by data register to high accumulator. Call the interrupt handler and proceed to set to empty instruction again. And this is the end of my main program. This is the input instruction. I read the character from the standard input and then compare the input data to the data in the low accumulator. If the value is equal to asterisk, then that's multiplication. If the input is forward slash, that is division. Cross sign is for addition, hyphen for subtraction, equal sign to get the answer. X, small x, and capital X to terminate the program. And small c and capital C to do the program again and then this is the end of the new line if the end of the new line then jump again instruction and to convert the decimal i use the sub al 30 h and assign zero to accumulator register push the content of the accumulator to stack assign 10 to the accumulator register to multiply every number to 10 then pop the top of the stack to base register, add the data in AX to BX, jump to do A instruction. Then that's the end of my input instruction. For the multiplication instruction, the special instruction here is to show the invalid message. For the division instruction, I set the value operand to AX and then divide AX by BX and store result in AX for quotient and BX for remainder. Then store divisor bx to divisor variable then call then do a procedure then this part of the code will just continuously divide the remainder by the parser and print after the point this instruction is to perform add operation on stored operand value to the base register this is the subtraction instruction to perform the sub operation and the operand value to base register i have the answer instruction if equal is pressed program will jump to this procedure and check which operator was being used. 
then jump if the operand is greater or equal to 0. This part of the code is to divide the decimal number by 10 and push dx to stack for each digit until the last digit. And this output is to pop the stack to dx, then do the interrupt function to call display character stored in dx. Then that's the end of my program.